Hello, Tom Pryor here with 23kgold.com. In the course of the last week, I've received several emails uh, about uh, new chains that might have uh, hit the gold shops that I've purchased or that my customers have purchased. And uh, usually when I do have a chain order, it's a custom-made chain. So it takes about two weeks to sometimes three weeks uh, for the chain to be made and then I pick it up and then I'm finally able to photograph it and show you. But um, I was able to get one chain uh, finished in time for this video. It's a very unique chain and I want to show it to you. Uh, this is a 4 bot short barrel link chain. It's 24 inches in length. It's a beautiful chain because of the short segmentation of the links and the customer specifically asked for that. Uh, it has a very dense feeling to it, uh, and so I just wanted to make sure that you saw this one, and I'll show you a close-up photo of it in just a couple of minutes. You know, sometimes I'll get a request from a customer uh, asking for a specific link, one that I've probably not seen before. And when that happens, I'm anxious to get to the gold shops to just see if I can find it, because it means a sale. And uh, I had somebody inquire again about a Franco. Uh, link chain and it's probably the maybe the 20th uh, request for that chain and I I know pretty much that I'm not able to find it because the Franco link chain uh, is not that popular in Thailand but I keep looking and sure enough I found a source for it so this is the chain here this Franco is a 20 and a half inch chain the uh, link diameter on it is 3.9 millimeter so it's pretty substantial and the price of course is also substantial it's around seventeen hundred dollars but uh, I'll show you a close-up of this uh, coming up the other chain that I found which uh, really caught my eye and um, I also purchased it for my inventory is uh, quite a short chain it's uh, 17 and a half inches so I'm not even going to try to put this one on because it wouldn't show up very well uh, but it's called a fishbone chain in Thai and it's a very unique design it's like a braided rope chain um, but it's not a hook sow it's a it's a four-sided chain and I'll show you a picture of this in a minute but the uh, actual length is 17 and a half and it's a one bot chain so it's a 15.16 gram uh, chain and uh, the link diameter is 2.6 millimeter so if you're looking for something really unique and one bot seems to fit your budget, uh, I can have this made for you in, in just about any length up to about 24 inch uh, in the one bot. But this particular one is, uh, is available. And uh, I haven't seen this link style before, so I was very happy to find it. So I wanted to just take a minute and explain to you what the procedure is uh, when we sell a chain. Uh, most of our chains are custom orders, meaning that we uh, can take your desired length measurement. Uh, we can't guarantee what uh, width link will ultimately be made. Uh, that's really up to the goldsmith, and uh, depending on which goldsmith is used, uh, determines the actual uh, specific size of the width of the link. So um, I can't guarantee that. But the length is always within about a quarter of an inch from the requested length. So the procedure is you place the order uh, and then I purchase the uh, physical gold because we don't want to take a chance with the uh, gold prices uh, skyrocketing and then uh, you know I'm having to go back to the customer and say you know it's going to cost more money so what we do is we purchase bricks of gold uh, on the day that the order is placed and uh, then we hang on to that and so then you're insulated from the increase or decrease in the price of uh, gold uh, the process of doing that um, requires uh, several hours of transportation uh, going in and uh, personally uh, explaining to the goldsmith exactly 
what the uh, chain should look like because it's not something you can do on the phone, especially when you have uh, such poor Thai language skills as I do. And uh, so what we do is we go in and we explain what we're looking for and then it's made and it takes about two weeks uh, for it to be made and then we return to the shop and inspect it. We are looking for the proper um, uh, maker uh, stamp, uh, the cast mark, uh, we're looking for any flaws in the chain. Um, uh, we're looking for the finish to make sure that the finish is uh, uh, what was ordered, whether it be a matte finish or a highly polished finish. And we're looking for the size of the clasp to make sure that the clasp isn't too small or, or monster clasp. <laughs> you know. So um, th then we go ahead and we purchase the chain and we come back and we send a photo to the buyer just to make sure that it is the link style that he had in mind. It has happened in the past where someone has ordered one style of chain off of the website and thinking that it was a different style and the photo saved us because they said, oh, this isn't the style. And so then if that did happen, which I think is only once in the last few years, uh, we're able to just take that chain, turn it in, have a new one made, and everything is okay. I've also received uh, some email with very basic questions. Uh, you know, what is Thai Bot Gold? Uh, uh, how does it? Uh, uh, how is it priced? You know, according in in comparison to say 14 karat gold and that kind of thing. Now, I did do a Q&A a while ago um, that I tried to answer those questions, but I don't think that any individual looking at my videos will look at every video. So I think it's something that I have to mention more than just once. So what I've done is I've put together a chart to show you the purity differences in the various chains and, and I hope that you'll find it interesting. Now the first and most important thing to understand, I think, is that in the gold industry we usually talk about troy ounces. So one troy ounce equals 31.10 grams. Okay, now if you want to compare that to Thai baht, the weight of Thai baht, one baht equals 15.16 grams. So if we times that by two, which would be a two baht, we come up with a total of 30.32 grams. Now that's very close to one troy ounce. Actually, it's 0.78 less. So when we're talking about bots, just keep in mind that for every bot that you are considering purchasing, it's a half of an ounce of gold. Okay, the bar graph that I created here is to show the comparison between the different carriages, or carats, uh, starting with the shortest bar, which is 37.5% gold. Okay, can anyone tell me uh, what carat that would be? Oh, yes, we have someone that guessed it. <laughs> So you thought I was live with this uh, YouTube, right? No, I'm not live. I only have 130 subscribers, so I'm not able to go live. But when I do have 1,000 subscribers, I'll be going live. <laughs> so if you look at the, uh, the, the short uh, bar on the left, 37.5% gold. Okay, that's equivalent to 9 carat. And that's something that... Uh, our friends in the UK will recognize because that's the least amount of gold that can be uh, offered in the UK and still call it gold. Anything less than that cannot be legally uh, called a gold necklace. The next uh, bar that you see is 41.7 percent. Okay, and that is 10 karat. That's something that we're all familiar with in the States and everywhere in the world, um, it's 41.7% uh, gold. Now, if you look at the distance between this and 100%, you'll see a lot of white space. Well, what do you think is in that white space? Um, certainly not very valuable metal, usually copper, uh, uh, some zinc, uh, anything that is used as a filler. And in some cases, it is beneficial because it offers uh, durability and um, and so there's really nothing wrong with a 10 karat gold chain but from a value standpoint it's not all that valuable uh, 
And often I find that the uh, labor costs on 10 carat and even 14 carat are very high. So it's almost like you're, you're having to pay a certain price for the gold anyway. It's just a matter of whether you're spending the money on the labor part or you're spending it on the valuable metal part, which is the gold. Now, personally, I'd rather be putting my money into the gold. And uh, if the labor is, is reasonably nice, I'm, I'm happy with that. But the benefit of buying Thai bot gold is the workmanship is extraordinary. So not only are you getting very high purity, you're getting a very beautiful handmade chain. So that's one of the best features that you could hope for. The next uh, bar is 58.3%. Okay, that is 14 karat gold. That is the majority of necklaces sold in the United States because we're up beyond the 50% mark. And that, uh, it becomes a serious necklace then. But if you look at the price of purchasing a 58.3% uh, chain, once again, you're paying a lot for the labor to make it. Now we move on to 75% gold, which is 18K. Many earrings are made of that uh, in Thailand. Many pendants and charms. Uh, like a, a crucifix or a, um, a, you know these heart charms with uh, stones in them are made of 18 karat because the, the uh, malleability of it is less than uh, 23 or 24 karat so any stones that are mounted in it will tend to stay there and not fall out so that's why 18 karat is used universally for uh, jewelry that uh, contains gemstones so then we move up to uh, 92%. And 92% is uh, 22K. And this is the percentage that you find in Indian jewelry. Uh, if you go to, uh, uh, if you're in a Middle Eastern country uh, somewhere and you go to a gold souk, uh, you'll see that uh, many of the pieces are 22 karat or 24 karat. Um, but uh, that jewelry is very ornate. It requires that high carat uh, gold for the malleability uh, to be able to carve designs and uh, intricate detail into the pieces and the Indian jewelry is very famous for that type of design. So now we're moving into the next bar and this bar is what we refer to as bot gold. Bot gold because it's over 95 percent pure. In the case in Thailand um, the gold is 96.5%. This purity is, I think, perfect because it has an alloy in it that, uh, that does make the jewelry strong. It's handmade, so that uh, improves the strength. And uh, when it's hand-worked, then um, it tends to be a stronger piece. Then we move into the next category, which is virtually 100% gold, but you never will have anyone tell you that this is 100% gold. If they do, then you really have to question it, because uh, gold only goes to 99.99% purity. So this is the gold that uh, the Sukhothai uh, designs are made of in Thailand. Uh, it's the purity that a gold bar is made. And so this is generally uh, not used very much for jewelry unless it is a very ornate piece um, and, uh, and it's probably not suggested uh, for jewelry and especially for wedding rings or something that, you, that uh, is going to require a lot of wear or something like that. It's much better, I think, with a wedding ring uh, to go to the uh, 23K or uh, down to the uh, 14K. So there you have it. It's a bar graph showing you uh, what the purity of gold is in the world. And once again, the important part of this is the inverse of the graph bars. It's what's in between the 100% and the 37% that's of importance because this is what you're also having to pay for, but it's really not a valuable metal. If you took this to 
uh, a refinery, uh, then they're only going to pay you for the 37.5% of the gold content. If you bring this to a gold refinery, you're going to be getting 96.5 of the you know, purity, uh, so it's almost the entire piece um, that you're going to get uh, a true value for. So if you're shopping value, I think this would be very helpful for you. Click that like button if you would, and also subscribe if this kind of content is interesting to you and will help you in making a decision to buy in the future, that's great. I think that many people are looking now toward value rather than just the aesthetics. And so if you can purchase something that has a high value as well as a beautiful look, a very unique look, then I think this is one of the best investments uh, that you could make in jewelry. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please come back and see us again. Thanks for watching.